Hello everyone and welcome to TSAM Digital. My name is Anna and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Alex Treko. He is the Director for Investment Management Solutions at Clearwater Analytics. Welcome, Alex. Thanks, Anna. Pleasure. Thank you so much for being here today, Alex. Um, so to kick things off, um, Alex, I know that Clearwater has made some news lately with a re recent acquisition of Jump Technology, a leading provider of investment management technology from France. Um, so can you tell us about why clients and prospects should be excited about Jump? Yeah, so, so Jump brings to the table uh, a proven solution um, in the European market and one that we think is very compatible with the needs of the U.S. market as well, particularly when you consider asset managers and asset owners alike. Um, and you compare that to their current existing client base of about 70 plus clients across funds, wealth managers, insurance companies, and then conventional institutional asset managers. Um, Jump itself um, is natively modular. And what we mean by that is Jump's components, its performance, its risk, its portfolio management system, order management system, et cetera, can all be componentized and modularized to be sold as standalone functionality, but also to really mix and match and bundle together into a comprehensive solution based off the client's scope of needs. So when we envision the utilization of Jump, both in Europe as well as over in APAC as well as in the United States, we think about something that gives us an ability to be extremely nimble in deploying solutions that often require our clients right now to seek out other third-party vendors and do it within a single vendor framework, both complementing Clearwater's existing accounting technology, its reconciliation, client reporting, but also with these other pieces that often push clients to seek out best of breed, even when that might not be the preferred model for them overall. Um, we also view Jump as extremely complementary to us in terms of its business um, overall. When we look at the people, when we look at the strong culture that they've built over in Paris, when we look at the satisfaction and the focus on client success, we really think this is quite a home run for our clients across the board and across the globe. So we're quite excited. This is really fantastic and it's so interesting that you mentioned uh, modularization um, because I know Clearwater has long supported a best in breed model. Um, so does anything change with that approach? I don't think anything changes, but what it does is it allows us to respond to the market. So we actually ran a, a quick poll of about 100 asset managers um, with a total of 10 trillion under uh, management. And what we asked is we said, okay, with your current platform, are you an all-in-one? Is it proprietary? What's the primary kind of technology footprint, so to speak, right? Or operational footprint or vendor footprint, however they wanted to find that. And what we found was the overwhelming majority to find themselves as best of breed to the tune of about 65% plus, right? Within that the group surveyed. What we then said is, okay, of those that are best of breed, are you best of breed by choice? Meaning that you feel like this is truly the right model for you right? Where you've gone out, you've selected the vendors and truly feel like you're harnessing the best technology or you best agreed by necessity, meaning that you just couldn't find somebody that could do everything under the single vendor umbrella or, you know, you're willing to kind of accept some deficiencies within certain areas of the, of the value chain or within the OMS to PMS to the accounting that make it such that you just don't feel like there's a good solution in the market. And what we found of that was the overwhelming number of respondents within that 65% plus came back and said, we feel like it's by necessity, which says to us that there's a gap in the market of being able to both be extremely structured, um, incredibly competent within deploying a SaaS-based technology first solution, but also doing so in a manner that allows the single vendor framework to be in place. And so when we looked at Jump, we said, okay, we've got a tremendous technology solution. Its extensibility is really incredible. When I look at some of the elements of Jump, when it pertains to performance or client reporting, its ability to even just incorporate new asset classes, right? And really the technology engine behind that is a strong culture of development and client satisfaction, which we think is extremely important. But then to take that te technology and push it forward becomes an extraordinarily 
flexible process and very easy to meet the client needs at hand, but also very easily to sit there with clients and say, okay, here are the choices of products and create a menu approach that allows both the breast to breed technology that some seek, but also incorporating that into a single vendor model that allows for all that flexibility that people seek in terms of, I wanna be paying a single price to a single vendor that supports my technology that allows me to deploy that and have it be really something I can build my business around predictably versus managing kind of other vendors by necessity, because I just don't feel like there's a good solution in the market. And that's really what excites us the most. I think about the dual offering, if you think about it moving forward. This sounds so exciting, Alex. Um, And I wanted to ask, what tools should clients and prospects be most excited about? Yeah, so when, when, when we look at Jump and we see the functionality that it brings to the table, we're really excited about incorporating the performance offering, for instance, and being able to meet the needs of a lot of clients that I think oftentimes um, are sold a solution that's a bit too much, right? That's extremely rigid in the way of performance attribution. That um, is very much kind of the, uh, how should we say, the, the uh, you know, round hole, square peg, right, being pushed in. Um, that's not right sized for their business. And when we look at the performance attribution and we see the availability, for instance, for custom sectors, custom benchmarks, right? Being able to create and run returns on the fly, being able to aggregate returns up to the asset class, as well as disaggregate them into custom sectors or down to the security type. We see something that's extraordinary flexible technology that's very easily comportable over to the daily use of many of these managers who are paying an oftentimes exorbitant amounts of money out of their budget for technology that's awesome and incredible, but technology that's not necessarily meeting the need of their firm, but is meeting the needs of kind of a holistic approach of the market, right? So their performance attribution can be right-sized and in being right-sized drive value that then drives a cost price point for a lot of these firms that just simply we don't think is available on the market for many. If we extend that forward, we believe the same is true of the order management solution. The same is true of the portfolio management solution to be able to run risk analytics, forecast returns, take a look at different scenarios uh, based off their own kind of inputs as well as standardized inputs. And then we also look at it forward to even some elements of the client reporting, which we feel Clearwater is extraordinarily strong in. Right, But Jump's model is very flexible in terms of the ability to self-service, create reports on the fly, um, API plugins that exist to, for instance, PowerPoint, Excel, other databases that might be right for some clients where Clearwater statements as they exist today might not be the right solution. So those are the things that we're really excited about with Jump. The final thing is being able to put all of that together right, and say, not only can you choose the modules you want, but we can also put it together in a single all-in-one framework with a single vendor, with SaaS technology, cloud-based, reducing that IT footprint. Those are the things that we really think are game changers, particularly as it pertains to the U.S. market. Can you touch more on those enhanced abilities around performance attribution? Yeah, so right now we just see such an opportunity of clients that don't want to necessarily measure um, apples to apples. They want to do apples to to apples, then oranges to oranges, right? And then kind of choose anything from the grocery store really and compare it together. And so the ability for them to be able to really think about performance attribution from a ground up approach, right? Versus kind of the conventional top down approach and build, for instance, security master custom tech, custom tags to be able to measure performance both in the current existing portfolio as well as within the benchmark and then also forecast returns we think is an incredibly powerful tool the other thing as well is it it has a lot of bells and whistles so to speak but they're not necessarily bells and whistles that need to be adapted to simply offer the performance attribution tool meaning that each element of the performance attribution tool can be right-sized and deployed to the client's specific need without needing to, as I've mentioned before, kind of blow out a budget expense for a bunch of things you're just not going to use, right? Or you might use in the future, but you don't need right now. So that, again, returning to the term that we use a lot, extensibility of it, we think drives forward that value that really answers a bell in the market today for a provider of performance attribution that is proven, that is tested, 
that is technology first, but also understands the importance of kind of the binary elements of, of performance, meaning the returns have to be accurate and correct, right? The returns have, the benchmark components have to be accurate and correct. We have to have the ability, for instance, to drill in and figure out the excess returns consistently, as well as compare them on a total return basis. And so it allows for that kind of availability of data, extraordinarily structured within the calculations, but also to be able to customize it in right size to each firm, their asset classes, and their desired use case for the tool. Absolutely, Alex. Um, and Clearwater is known for a strong emphasis on client success and organic growth. Um, so how does Jump align with this? So Jump's had a tremendous uh, story of kind of their growth. It's a, it's, it's a founder-led organization. Um, and they've built an incredible product and one that we're honored to be able to work closely with. Um, we also look at, uh, very much into their clients and their levels of satisfaction with Jump. And simply put, kind of the resounding feedback within the market is, is similar to what we find with our clients, which is we're deeply satisfied with the offering. We feel it's innovative and it's cutting edge and it allows us to continue to build our business and gain scale right? While also adapting to new asset classes and new markets within our business. And then the final piece really is that these clients, um, they look back and they do consistent evaluations of their existing technology against the market. And continually, they're committing to stay with Jump's technology in a similar manner that our clients are staying with Clearwater with our with our 98% plus retention rate, right? So when you take a look at those factors, it means that in order for that organization, we think to continue to deliver value to clients, which is extraordinarily important. It's one thing to deliver service. It's one thing to deliver technology. It's a completely another thing to deliver value. We see an organization that invests in its product and invests in its clients. And so within that, the spirit of the acquisition is such that Clearwater is investing actively in Jump's technology. Clearwater is also going to invest actively in improving its own technology and that of Jump. And ultimately, what that allows is a single umbrella for clients to utilize the product suite that we now present with that deep culture, deep investment, and continued innovation that allows clients truly an evergreen framework, we think, to build their future operations, client reporting, accounting platforms, performance attribution platforms off of in the future, which we think is super exciting. And we're already seeing tremendous response in the market about that. Alex, finally, um, what is the timing for the rollout of Jump in North America? Great question. So we are in the process right now of, of some of the early stages, but we are taking client interest and client demos and setting those up. We're focusing both on opportunities within our current client set. So for instance, performance attribution, OMS, PMS functionality for existing Clearwater clients, as well as clients that are um, looking for, for instance, nimble elements of Jump's technology, right? The more modularized approach. The other approach is certainly the, pros the perspective. Uh, market, which we think is enormous for Jump in the U.S. When we look at its capabilities to support funds, when we look at its capabilities to support wealth managers, family offices, and a whole host of other folks within the asset owner marketplace, um, honestly, we, we feel like we just can't spend enough time taking in that interest that's coming to us right now of being able to house everything together within a single vendor framework harness the best technology of Clearwater and jump together and produce really, as I mentioned, what we think is an incredibly um, powerful offering that is game changer within the asset management industry. We think both not only in EMEA as jump has been, but also within the US. So when we talk about really the, the rollout, we're actively rolling that out. We're focusing very heavily on elements of integration, as well as elements that complement our current kind of technology and the way we're positioned within the market. And we really expect to begin to see clients utilizing Jump within the next, call it six to eight months, in terms of being really a strong offering that drives forward their investment management platform in the near future in the United States. That's fantastic, Alex. Um, best of luck with the rollout and we look thank forward you. to seeing it developing. Um, and thank you so much for being here with us today and, and sharing uh, everything with us, with the community. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, Anna, thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure. And certainly if you're interested, feel free to reach out. Thank you.